Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video on how to do the shipwrecked uh, tumbler with the wood grain in the water. So this is a two-part video. Uh, the first part will be doing the wood grain. So today I'm going to be using uh, Marabou alcohol inks from the Craft Attack. Um, I'm going to be using caramel and cinnamon and the brown to do my wood grain. So let's get started. Okay, so I like to use the just the cheap hard bristle brushes from Walmart or Michaels or wherever. Just the real cheap, if you can see this, there you go. I think it gives it a, a better brush stroke for the, the wood grain effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my lighter color. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna start with cinnamon. And I hold my cup upside down and I start at the top and I drop just a couple drops and let it run down. And then I take my brush and I just brush it and keep reapplying. And I go around the whole cup like this and then I will come back and go in with a darker color. You can go straight down, you can go up and down, it's kind of a personal preference. See, when you brush it with this kind of brush, it tends to push it over, so you get these darker lines that kind of make it look like a wood grain. But when we go back in with a darker color, that will give it more depth and a little extra different shades, I guess. Okay, so I've gone ahead and went all around the cup and on the bottom with my uh, cinnamon alcohol ink. And so now I'm going to go back in and go over the whole thing again, but I'm going to go back in with just the regular brown. So I like to do it a little bit darker. I think the two colors mixed together look, make for a really nice wood grain. Now when I go in with my darker, I don't usually go all the way around. 
I'll kind of skip areas so that it gives more of a, a look of different shades like a tree would be. Go a couple more spots with the dark and then I'll come back in again with the other color. Okay. I'm going to go back in with my cinnamon. a little more depth with their colors and kind of gives that light and dark look. And you don't have to use two different shades. You could just use the cinnamon if you wanted to just stick with a light wood grain. Okay, so I finished the wood grain part. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the light and the dark, dark effect. Get some on the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it sit for a few hours and then we will apply the epoxy and do the water with the alcohol inks. Okay, so I've let my cup sit for a few hours and now I'm going to apply some epoxy. Now I'm going to apply a decent amount because I want the alcohol inks to really move. to get the bottom. Okay, so I think it's pretty well covered. I'm going to run the heat gun across it really fast just to get any little bubbles.
Okay, so I'm going to be using some of the blues and the greens. Um, let's see. Okay, the first one I'm going to start with, I can't read it, is called Genation. Shake it up a little bit. I'm just going to drop towards, try and keep it towards the bottom of the cup. And you want to go down the, the bottom of the cup as well. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and use this kind of a teal. It's called aqua green. I don't want a whole lot of green in mine, <coughs> so I'm just going to put it in a couple spots. And then I'm going to take my Caribbean, I want to shake it up a little bit more. And I'm going to go in and drop a little white. And you want to go back in and go over the white spots. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to take my turner and let's, let's lift it up in the back a little bit. Maybe the colors start to run down.
Now I'm going to try and lift it again. These colors are so pretty. I'm going to go this way with it. Colors run down a little bit. on the bottom. how this looks. Let me get a little bit of a little bit more white. Just kind of play around with it until you get the look that you want. You can kind of use a, use a tool and add more waves or it does its own thing, but sometimes I like to just add my own little twist to it. Hit it one more time just with a little heat just to keep it moving not too much some extra color maybe a little bit while it's moving some more Actually, just pull it off and then just kind of hold it up 
upside down let it run down a little bit you can see it moving so it makes like a wavy look and then hold it this way And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to let this spin and let's see what it does. And we'll finish it up when it's all cured. Okay, so I have let my cup turn and sit overnight and then I applied my decal and it's ready for final epoxy. This should be the last coat that it needs. Just apply our epoxy. It might need one more coat just because of some uneven areas uh, where the alcohol inks kind of piled up. Got a little thick in some areas. I'm really loving the way this is turning out though. Okay, so I'm just going to run the heat gun over it to get out any bubbles, and that should be it. And that's it. I'm just going to let it turn for about six or seven hours and I'll pull it off and put it on the drying rack and hopefully that'll be the end of it. So I will post a picture at the end of this video of the finished cup and also any links to products will be in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and share and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for uh, watching.